it's Melissa from the Hug Strap and from the Dirty Healers. Um, this is another part of my series of trying to um, teach people how to find, how to, how to have better rhythm when they're strumming. Um, so the first part we went over was chunking. Um, I would like to introduce you to a couple of little tools that I used when I was first just trying to find the beat and just make sure that I kept in time every time I was strumming. So um, one of the things that I like to do, because I think it makes it easier to hear, is I like to use these little um, egg shakers, these little percussion things. There's also a rhythm ring by Ohana and you can wear it as a little piece of elastic so you can put that on. That's one of my favorite tools. Um, and then there's something that's a little bit louder. This is actually meant to go over your foot. Um, it's made by, I don't know. <laughs> Here, you can look. It's made by them. <laughs> and um, you can wear it on your foot. You can also, if you're really in a pinch, put it on your hand. It's nice and loud. It's a little tambourine. Um, for right now, I'm just going to stick with my Ohana ring. Um, so, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to strum some nice easy chords. Like I'm going to start with a, a G. Um, and I'm just going to try and keep in time. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So hearing just that little accent, one, two, three, four, makes it easier to hear whether or not you're staying in time. It's easier to notice whether or not you're speeding up. And you want to always try and keep in time because everything sounds better. It sounds like your songs haven't become a runaway train. It's something I'm terribly guilty of and I have to work really hard on it. And luckily I'm married to a drummer, so he helps keep me in time. But um, not everybody's married to a drummer, so you need to find other tools. And this is one that I find helpful when I'm practicing by myself. So I just try and sing a song. I got to hear that. really good when you start adding in up and down strokes too because the your hand moves a little bit more it's a little more obvious so one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four to so see how I didn't speed up because I have this little thing to keep me in time all right and then in case all you can find is an egg shaker because those Ohana rhythm, rhythm rings I sometimes had a hard time finding if you can find these, these are pretty easy. You can also just hold it in the palm of your hand. Same thing. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Go to a D. Three and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's a really good way to practice. So any song that you want to sing, just having this little thing here to help you get the rhythm right. Um, and you don't have to do it with every song. Obviously, it sounds a little ridiculous to have a shaker in your hand every single time. But when you're practicing, it's a really good tool. Um, so that is my short little video today to help you keep in time. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, definitely, I have no problem giving you a follow-up video if there's something that you missed or you don't quite understand. All right, so have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.